Let's be real. Bible study doesn't look like it used to. Most of the time, I don't have the time to get out my Bible and my notebook and my commentary. Most of the time, I'm stuck with an extra 30 minutes in the evening to grab my phone and do a Bible study. So today, I wanna to show you guys my Bible app three-step Bible study formula. That was a lot of words. Let me try it again in less. Let's call it three-step version Bible study. What's up guys, I'm Jeff and I do videos just like this every single week to help you keep living that bold life for Jesus. If that sounds like what you're looking for, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But let's jump into the content. So usually before I start a study on my phone, what I'll figure out is what I'm planning to study, right? So that can vary. If I'm gonna be going through a book, if I'm gonna be going through a passage, if I'm gonna be talking about a topic, right? I'm gonna choose one of these things to study. So um, for today, we're gonna to be talking about a book. We're gonna go and start in Galatians 1. So if you, you have your phone, you wanna follow along, I'll have over here what I'm doing. Um, so you can just kind of follow along right with me. I'm gonna be in Galatians and I'm gonna be in the NIV translation. So first thing I'll do is I'll pull up my Bible app. Um, now, if you have not been on the new version, you'll see that a few things have changed. Uh, I'll run through those real quick. Uh, now you have two different tabs for your home screen. You have this, this for you section and in this section, it'll have your plans, your activity, It'll have your verse of the day, your images, um, it'll have friends, related verses, I think is really cool. Um, and actually down here at the bottom, you can rearrange these sections into whatever order you want them to be. Um, so next to that, you have your community tab, and this is exactly how it sounds. This is what all of your friends have been doing. Um, so if, you like, if you're like me, I have a lot of friends on the Bible app. I love to be social, so if you're on there and you're social, you should add me. Uh, just Jeff Evans. I don't know an easier way to find it. Maybe you can find it through Facebook. I don't know. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is what all my friends are doing. So what I'll usually do when I first get here is I'm going to decide what I'm going to be doing. And like I said, we're going to be in Galatians. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click over to the read tab. I'm going to go Galatians 1, which you can see it's already pulled up here. Now I've lost it. I forgot the order of the Bible. Sorry. There it is, Galatians. And actually, if you click this little I right here, See, a lot of people don't even know that there's an intro section to the Bible app. But if you click that little eye, it's going to give you an introduction to the book you're going to be reading. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read this introduction. So it says, Galatia was a Roman province in Central Asia Minor. Paul traveled here on each of the three journeys he made to spread the message about Jesus. The Galatians received both Paul and his gospel announced warmly. But later, some people Paul calls agitators came and challenged Paul's leadership as well as the foundation of his teaching. And that's a lot of what we're going to be reading about in chapter 1. But I recommend you hit your little introduction here and go and read through that introduction. Because uh, it'll give you so much more insight onto the scripture you're about to be reading. So I'm done with the intro, so I'm actually just going to click over and go to chapter 1. So what I would normally do here before I do any other study is I'm going to read the passage myself. I'm going to read the entire chapter myself. Let it speak to me. Because I believe that if we jump straight into someone else's study, we may miss what God is saying to us. Don't do that. Read it for yourself. Take the time. Most of the time, a chapter of the Bible will take you about three to four minutes to read. It does not take that long. So go ahead, read this chapter in Galatians 1. So I'm going to say, pause the video, read this chapter, and then hit play. Okay, so the very next thing that I would do after reading is I would go ahead and jot down some of my own notes. So what I would do if there was something that, you know, really jumped out to me, um, so I actually already have some highlights here. So you see how I've highlighted. So usually as I'm reading, what I'll be doing is I'll be highlighting certain verses. But, but maybe something really jumped out to me, like verse 6 here. Paul says, I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you to live in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Now maybe that really speaks to me and I'm thinking, you know, what I want to say about this. Maybe I want to use this in an upcoming sermon. What I'll do is I'll hit a little note right here and I will go ahead and punch in my note. Um, so the Galatian church is being persuaded. So this would, I would just add this quick note 
and now I have that note for later. Um, and maybe I would go and highlight this a special color that just lets me know it has a note. So I'm going to highlight that purple. I don't use purple for anything else, but whenever I'll put a note, I'll use purple so I'll know, hey, there is a note on this and I'll go take a look at it. Okay? So you can add notes and I recommend you add notes and then you add highlights and maybe if something really speaks out to you, you'll go and maybe create an image for it or you'll use your Nobabo Lens app and uh, you'll do all this other cool stuff and you'll just make stuff to make it easier to remember it later, let it speak to you later. But after you've done your own study, after you've highlighted and you've done your own notes, what I like to hit is there's this little little button up here, little icon that you miss a lot of times. It looks like a little compass. But if you click that compass, just in the top left corner, it's going to bring up related videos. So if you click just the video there, there's various videos. And right here, this is coming up with the, the Bible project. So Paul had traveled on one of his missionary journeys. You can read the stories in the book of Acts. He wrote this important letter from a place of deep passion and frustration. So right there you have a, a video to go along with that's going to show you deeper into the scripture. Most chapters, most books actually have some forms of videos with them, right? So let me, I'm in Philippians here. Let's see if Philippians has a video. There's a video on Philippians. Say I want to go over and read one of the Gospels. Uh, if I'm going to hit over to say the Gospel of John. Look at that, there's several videos on the Gospel of John. You can watch these videos to accompany your reading and it's just going to take you like even further. And right here is a, a John video done by the Bible Project. It's going to take you so much deeper. Um, but then you have all these videos. You have where God's Word becomes flesh. You have, you know, like John 1.1. 1, 1. You have John testifies of Jesus. You have the baptism of Jesus, the testimony of Jesus. You have all these other videos just to make the Bible come so much more alive. And it's right here in your Bible app. You're not even going to get that if you sit down with your Bible and your journal. So the very next thing I would do after watching whatever videos are there, I love to watch videos. I'm a visual learner, so if I can see it and it just, especially those videos on like the Gospels, they just bring it to life so much more. What I would do now is once I'm kind of done with that is I would click over here to the plans tab. And what I would do is I would actually just go up to the little search icon and I would search for if it's a book I'm studying, so I'm studying Galatians right now, then I would click, or, you know, I would type in Galatians. And I would just see what plans are available for Galatians. Maybe I would do this uh, deeper into scripture. And I would just read it, deeper into scripture is a methodology of scripture reading that instructs, encourages, and equips people to read God's word daily and deeply. We have created a unique four-fold method of Bible reading that directs the individual to read a short passage of scripture four times. And I would go ahead and I would do this one. I would hit sample, make sure it looks like what I'm looking for. So I can see on day one, I'm going to have a devotion. I'm going to have Galatians 1, day 2. So it looks like it's going to take me all the way through the book of Galatians. Yeah, all six chapters of Galatians right here through this plan. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm probably going to go ahead and start that plan. And I'll just do it by myself. Or if you're going to do it with friends, do it with friends. That's awesome. Fri plans together are awesome. They're fun to do. So I'm going to go and do it just me. I would do uh, this devotion. But if you're going through a topic, right? So if, if your study isn't necessarily on a passage of scripture or a chapter, maybe your study is actually going to be on a topic. Maybe you're studying hope. In the plans, you just go and hit, hit your little icon again and type in the word hope. And here's several, there's probably hundreds of plans here on hope. Okay, so all these right here on hope. If you're studying a topic, again, I would use this little search tab over here. It used to be called explore, now it's called search. That's interesting, I just noticed that. But over in the search, you type, hit right here and you type in hope. Right? And now you have all this scripture dealing with hope. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, right? You have Hebrews, all these plans, then you have so you have all these scriptures about hope, and then you have all these plans that come up about hope. We can go back to this little search box. We can go to this, how are you feeling? Or you can go by Bible study if you want to just do a Bible study, or you want to do you know a certain um, story in the Bible. Like you know, you know basically what happened with David and Goliath, but you actually want to read it. It's right here for you. This gosh, this this app is so awesome. You version the team over there. Thank you guys so much. You are killing it with your app and what you guys are doing. 
Um, but anyway, to, to continue in Galatians, what I would do is I would go ahead and do the devotion. So I would, I would click it and I would start reading. So it says, uh, first reading, enter. And I've actually done one of these, I'm realizing now. I've done one of these plans before. It says, as you read this passage of scripture for the first time, you are simply entering in or familiarizing yourself with what God is saying here. Notice the circumstances, people, places. So what it wants you to do in this plan is to go through and read all of Galatians 1. One time through, read all of Galatians 1, just cover it. We already did this once, so you can probably count that as you're entering. So the second time it says, as you read the same passage of scripture for the second time, notice what word, phrase, sentence, or verse makes an impression on you. Oh, this is, this is so powerful. I do this Bible study technique a lot. Um, and I'm realizing this plan here. I'm wondering if they have it for all the other books. If so, I recommend it wholly. It's called Deeper Into Scripture. So you're going to read through it two times. The second time you're re recognizing what phrases speak to you, right? What stands out to you, whether it's a word, a phrase, a sentence, maybe just the tone of the Scripture. How is it speaking to you? The third time you read through, you're going to pray. It says, as you read this passage of scripture for the third time through, begin by spending a few moments in prayer, thanking and praising God for his holy word. As you read, be prayerfully interacting with God about the text. So as you're reading, don't be afraid to pray it back to God, right? Don't be afraid to let this scripture speak to you. Pray and ask God, God, how am I being taught falsely, right? What kind of false teachings are invading my brain? What kind of what kind of teachings is culture today telling me that is false, that's not true about you? And, and pray it back to God, right? And the fourth reading is live. It says, in this final reading of the passage, ask God to show you how he wants you to live based on this scripture. Is there something he would have you start doing, stop doing, or continue doing? That is just so powerful. Read through this passage four times, and each time let it speak to you in a different way. I want to encourage you guys because I know a lot of times we don't have time to sit down with our Bible and get all of our stuff out that we think we can't study the Bible. But if I'm honest with you guys, everything you need is right here on your phone. You can sit down and study the Bible. Now, if you can sit down with a Bible, like a physical Bible and a journal, do it. I think it's so awesome to do that. But if you can't, don't get down. You can still study the Bible on your phone. They've made it so easy, so accessible. That was that was my three-part study right there. I mean, all I do is I figure out what I want to study. I want to I look it up on my phone. I actually read it, and then I watch the videos on it, and I do a plan on it. That's my three steps: read, watch the videos, do the plan, and that's what I do all the way through a certain book or a certain topic. And it's just so easy to do, and it's easy to pull up on your phone. And you can do this with any passage, with any. Um, with any topic, with anything you want to study, you can do that on your phone in a, you know, a matter of 20 minutes. So I encourage you guys to get started. There's nothing holding you back. If you have a physical Bible that you can sit down and read, read it. If you don't, grab your phone and read it, right? You can find scripture everywhere. It's so accessible to us today. So guys, no excuses. Get into scripture. Get living bolder for Jesus. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, slap that subscribe button, punch that notification bell in the face. That's a little violent for a Christian video, but I'd like it if you did it. All right, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything on the Bible app that you guys prefer, all right? So let me know if there's a special way you like to use the Bible app or, or if there's a plan that you've done in the past that is your absolute favorite. And just a little bonus content, my absolute favorite plan I've ever done was Shaken by Tim Tebow. If you haven't done it, check it out. An amazing plan. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed what we did here today. If so, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, love you. Keep living that bold life.